Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly love reading from today, August 2nd to August 11th for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'm back guys, it feels good to be back. I had a really great visit with my mom. We had a good time on our birthday. It was a good visit, but you know me, you know my Capricorn moon, I'm glad to be back. All right guys, so Taurus, I'm actually, well and anyone cross watchers who's watching, I decided to change, up the, to change up the readings a little bit moving forward. I'm not gonna go over the pre-shuffle. I just for the sake of time so I can get more videos out in a timely manner. I will go over what I pick up in the meditative session and I will still of course go ahead and do the reading. So Taurus, meditating on your energy, I was really loving it. I was really digging it. The bullpen is open, Taurus. The bullpen is open, the gate is open, you're free. You're free to roam, you're free to do you, do whatever the hell you wanna do. Taurus, I was also getting the sense of a lot of wide open space. Some of you might be out in the country, maybe thinking about moving out into more like a, the nature, natural environment or a more rural, 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 I can't say that word, I can't say that word rural environments um are just wanting more open space for yourself but i feel like it's more about being able to see taurus you can see a hell of a lot more now than you have been in the past or have been able to in the past it's like you can actually see far ahead you can see the path into exactly where you want to go i feel like your sight your sight <laughs> your third eye um or even just your um your instincts, your own instincts were kind of being blocked off. And I do feel like there were other people because of that. Um, I feel like Taurus, uh, people in your environment have been keeping you bogged down. And it took you a while to see that. It took you a while to see that. Um, I'm also getting this energy of a lot of like uh, conflicts, a lot of conflicts. Um, mm, some of it is inner, it's inner conflict, but I feel like for the most part, it was people who were fighting you, like people who were fighting you, people who didn't want you to do certain things, trying to keep you restricted, trying to keep you in the bullpen. You're not in the bullpen anymore. You can go do whatever the hell it is you want to do, Taurus. It's your life. It's your life and you need to live it for you and not anybody else, okay? Um, I also get that a lot of you are, are really exploring spirituality, really getting back in touch with yourself, getting, in back, in, getting back in touch with your own energy, and it feels really good. I feel like doing that not only is going to be very healing for you, which by the way, some of you I do feel like need more healing, and because you're able to see more ahead now, you're seeing that about yourself as well. Like, oh, you know, there's some stuff I could work on. There's some stuff I could work on. There's some stuff I probably haven't been working on. I do probably need more healing in my life. Some of you are making that realization and accepting that. I think some of you might have been, no offense, some of you might have been a little stubborn about that. It could have been brought to your attention by someone in your life or by people around you and you didn't really want to hear it. And I totally get it. We've all been there. You weren't ready to hear it. Let's say it that way. You just weren't ready to hear that. Um, you're ready to accept it now about yourself, which is great. As long as we can accept the shit we got to do, we can get a lot of, excuse me, we can get a lot of done. I had lunch before this, sorry guys. We can get a lot of done and do a lot of healing for ourselves in the process. And Taurus, you know that, you're realizing that, you're feeling free, you want your freedom, you don't want to be restricted by other people, you want to live your life for you and no one else, which I think is amazing, okay? So let's go ahead and get into your reading. For anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. And I do know I am a honey blonde now. <laughs> <laughs> just three bleachings you know to get enough color out of my hair uh but i will be going purple soon so yeah just you know just sharing just sharing my little hair journey with you guys all right any messages for taurus regarding love august 2nd to the 11th any messages for taurus regarding love a lot of you are getting more grounded as well a lot of you are getting more grounded um I feel like it's almost interesting. It's interesting. It's almost like um, as you realize you need more healing in your life and you want to be more grounded and more in touch with yourself, just knowing that and doing that is actually causing you to um, change a lot of your habits just out of the need to do that for yourself. You know, it's really interesting. Um, so a lot of you are getting better about your eating, uh, your exercising, things of that nature. It feels good. It's a great energy, Taurus. It's only going to lead you to good things. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? August 2nd to the 11th. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? August 2nd to the 11th. I'm seeing a lot of barbecue. I don't know what that's about. Uh, maybe you're spending a lot of time at barbecues or wanting to be out barbecuing in a summer, so I'm not surprised. It's just funny they're showing me that. 
Uh, those ribs look yummy. Please share. <laughs> All right. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? August 2nd to the 11th. Hmm. With this barbecue imagery they're give, giving me, I'm actually getting the sense of like family barbecues or like family reunions. Taurus, maybe tell us some family stuff that might not be so pleasant. It's helping you in your growth. It's helping you in your growth and it's helping you be more free within yourself. And that will translate into the external, into your life to be more free. Maybe you just got to deal with some uh, family shit that you've been putting off. Like maybe there's been some fights, some disagreements. Maybe there's been a family relationship you've been wanting to heal, but not really wanting to do the, the work about it. Uh, you might be put in a position where you don't really have a choice. Okay. Any messages for Taurus? I'm getting a lot of Southern energy, like South, like, um, Southern part of the U.S. A lot of people who watch me are from the United States. Uh, I don't know why that's coming to me. Hmm. I can't pinpoint where this is. I'm just getting that, like, that very distinct, like, Southern kind of environment where it's, like, like very lush, very, very green, very lush, very humid. <laughs> very, very humid. Very, very hot and humid. It's, like, being outdoors, that big, like, family reunion barbecue kind of style. It feels very, like... Uh, southern United States. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? August 2nd to the 11th. Okay. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? August 2nd to the 11th. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? August 2nd to the 11th. A lot of you want to focus on your career and more of your money situation. I think you've also learned, to, some of you have learned to not be, what's the word I'm looking for? Like all or nothing about one aspect at a time. You know, sometimes Torians, because you guys are so good at building and building structures, building foundations, thinking like for long term, long haul, that sometimes you get a little too hyper focused on one aspect and I think some of you are learning to not be so hyper focused to have more balance in your life but you do realize that focusing on your career and pentacles would be really ideal for you right now oh devil in reverse I love it Capricorn energy Taurus you're getting away from toxic shit toxic shit toxic people codependent behaviors addictions anything that's been keeping you from being free because you're free you ain't chained up anymore you're not chained up anymore a lot of this is also a uh, toxic family behaviors and toxic family environments any messages for Taurus regarding love? August 2nd to the 11th. Some of you find sanctuary in your work, which I think is beautiful. Nine of Swords, like I couldn't see it for a second. Nine of Swords in reverse, getting rid of anxiety and fears. Yeah, I love this. Anything that's kept you essentially in the dark and just afraid. I don't know, I'm getting like fear tactics? What the hell? Fear tactics. Taurus, some of you might have had a family. It feels more like family. A lot of family shit going on for you right now. It feels more like a family, but it could also be a family member or a spouse or a, a love interest of sorts. It could even be going on at work. Oh, work. Okay, thank you. Work. That's also why you're focusing on work. Someone's been trying to practice fear tactics with you. And you're done with it. <laughs> you're done with that bullshit. You're done with that bullshit. I'm also getting a lot of guilt tripping energy. Like, someone thinks they got a hell of a lot of power, Taurus, and they tried to exercise it on you. And it might have worked for a small amount of time, but you're Taurus. Don't fuck with Taurus. Don't fuck with Taurus, because they're not going to sit in this energy very long, and you're not. You're not going to sit in that energy. You're not going to let someone try to fearmonger you, you know, try to keep you oppressed, try to manipulate you. You're not, you're not letting that happen. You're not down for that. You're not down for that. Any other messages for Taurus? And you're breaking away from it. I feel like some of you are breaking away from one person's grip in particular. And I feel a very strong energetic gripping. It feels long term, which to me indicates family. Okay? But you're breaking away from that. I just heard father. Maybe you're away some, some, from some fatherly issues. Page of Swords and Six of Swords. What did I just say about breaking away? Six of Swords, Aquarian energy. You are heading out. And people are watching you do it. <laughs> the gate is open, Taurus. The bullpen is open. You have the chance to get away and do whatever the hell it is you want to do. Some of you are moving homes, moving cities even. You might even be telling someone that. You might have been saying like, you know what? I'm done. I'm out. I'm moving out. I'm moving away from you, moving away out of this situation. I don't need to be in this situation. I do feel, Taurus, that for some of you, and I feel like this is more of a masculine Taurian energy that I'm getting, is that... There's a masculine watching someone move on. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. This is an interesting download that I'm getting. There's a masculine energy that thought they had a grip on somebody. Thought they had a grip on somebody and they're watching that person literally move on, break away, making them realize, oh shit, I didn't have such a hold over them as, as much as I thought I did. Wow, okay. Any other messages for Taurus regarding love? August 2nd to the 11th. Any other messages for Taurus regarding love? August 2nd to the 11th. Any other messages for Taurus regarding love? August 2nd to the 11th. Five of Cups. Oh, shit. Scorpionic energy. Someone doesn't want you to leave. This is an energy of loss and grief. Someone's really upset that you're bouncing, that you're breaking away. And Taurus, like I said, I'm, I'm sensing a masculine energy who's watching someone break away. Um, and they're really upset about this. And they don't want this to happen. I do feel a little bit of magic at work or a little bit of energetic pulling. Like someone's trying to, to energetically pull someone back energetically pull someone back someone might even try some tactics to keep someone from moving on here i don't like the energy at all uh, by the way some of you are asking what deck i'm using spellcasters deck a uh, link is below for if you guys want it i buy all my stuff on amazon for the most part for the most part i buy all my stuff on amazon um but yeah taurus this is about breaking away from anything that's confining whether it's you or someone you're connecting with and people are watching this forward movement this breaking away someone going towards happiness stability calmness inner peace freedom and someone and the person who's watching does not like it they don't like it and they're trying to figure out how they can get they can get this other person to stay overall energy yeah see look at this shit five of wands <laughs> five of wands leo energy a lot of people are pissed off a lot of people are upset about this and Taurus, I feel like they're upset with you that you're doing this. And again, could be vice versa. That's just how, you know, it's all energy, right? Energy goes both ways. It's not, it's not linear. It's not linear. Um, but with this five of wands, there's a lot of battling to do this. A lot of battling to do this. I think for a while, Taurus, you might've had some inner conflicts about it, but you don't anymore. You don't anymore because your happiness is really goddamn important to you as it should be. As it should be. You're not going to let other people dictate your life anymore. And again, this could be vice versa, but the person who's watching the breaking away, the leaving, like I said, is very upset and might even try something. Might even try something to get you to stay, or if it's vice versa, um, Taurus, you might be trying something to get this person to stay. So let's look at the devil in reverse and nine of swords in reverse. Curious about the devil and the situation that you were kind of stuck in. Uh, I'm going to use Rider Waite to clarify. I need a lower table. I'm like, I'm really short, guys, and so like the table's like, like right here, so I feel like I'm like... I'm always like perched up on it. I need a shorter table. Okay. Talking about the devil in reverse. That's why I'm always stretching upwards. Talking about the devil in reverse for Taurus regarding love. August 2nd to the 11th. What's Taurus leaving behind? What's Taurus breaking away from? Talking about the devil in reverse. Talk about the devil in reverse for Taurus regarding love, August 2nd to the 11th. Talk about devil in reverse for Taurus regarding love, August 2nd to the 11th. Someone has a nickname Rosebud. I don't know how that's coming through. Someone has a nickname Rosebud. It feels like, like a nickname that was bestowed upon by a family member. What is that about? I, I don't know why that's coming through. It just is probably confirmation for you if you're wondering if this is your reading. But yeah, someone has that nickname Rosebud that's coming in really strong. It's coming in really, really strong. Feels feels like it's coming from a feminine energy that placed this nickname on you. Anyway, uh, Moon in Reverse, Piscean Energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. This is Clarity. Clarity that this had to be done. Full card on the bottom. Clarity that this had to be done. This breaking away had to happen. If you've been planning this in secret, Taurus, you're finally telling people. Talking about the devil in reverse for Taurus regarding love. Or if someone's been planning to leave you, which I'm sorry if that's the case. Um, if they've been planning it, you're finally getting word of it. Hermit energy, Virgo energy, um, a lot of enlightenment coming in here. Yeah, someone's been planning this. Taurus, if you've been breaking away, you've been planning to do this for a while. You've been planning to do this for a while because you finally have gained insight into the toxic shit you've been dealing with um, and the manipulative people that you've been dealing with. 
Talking about the devil in reverse. Talking about the devil in reverse for Taurus regarding love. August 2nd to the 11th. Talking about devil in reverse for Taurus regarding love. Oh. <laughs> and the hanged man, Piscean energy. I swear, these two just follow each other. They just follow each other. A lot of enlightenment coming in here. There was a whole lot of what appeared to be like someone not doing anything about it. So Taurus, if you've been wanting to break away, uh, you haven't been doing anything about it because you've really just been trying to gain a lot of perspective, trying to gain clarity, doing some healing work on yourself before you made any moves. I'm also getting research energy, like very Eight of Pentacles energy. You might have also been researching your options to figure out how to do this, the best way for you to do this. Yeah, because that's what I'm getting, like periods of doing nothing, but it's not that you weren't doing anything. You just were planning your shit out. Let's see here. Talking more about the devil in reverse. This is going to lead to a lot of growth for you, Taurus, to do this breaking away. Oh, Taurus, nine of swords, Gemini energy. Yeah, you've been really worried about the situation you've been in. Deep down, Taurus, you knew it wasn't really good for you to be in whatever this toxic shit is. And it has kept you up late at night. You've been worried about it. Maybe even had some issues with anxiety. But doing this inner work, doing your healing, gaining as much perspective as possible is allowing you to break away. Allowing you to break away. You've been a little anxiety ridden about making this move. You've been wanting to do this for a while. Sorry if I sound like a broken record. Downloads are just coming in. Sometimes they're a little repetitive. Uh, you've been wanting to break away for a while. And because of that, it's making really worried on how it was going to happen. And I feel, again, a little bit of like blackmail, a little bit of blackmail energy, like that guilt tripping energy, that fear tactic energy. Maybe you even try to propose this to the person that you're trying to break away from or people you're trying to break away from. And they spewed some bullshit to keep you afraid, to keep you stuck. And again, like I said, it might have worked, but not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, beautiful. Overall energy, strength, Leo energy underneath that justice in reverse libra energy you have the confidence and strength to break away from this bullshit injustice of this bullshit of keeping you stuck keeping trying to keep you in fear trying to guilt trip you all that all that nonsense because taurians you guys are very loyal you're very loyal it's one of the beautiful things about taurus energy and this person knows that this these people slash person knew that and you're you're finally getting the courage to stand up against it and be like no no just no just no, not anymore. You're going from this to this. You're getting out of that energy as you deserve to. You deserve to. So moving ahead, we have that page of swords with the six of swords. Let's look at this mm, page. Let's look at the page. I was about to say the six. Oh, focus. I was about to say the six of swords, but we already know you're breaking away, going towards your happiness, your stability, your inner peace, your sanity, really. Uh, but let's look at this page of swords because like I said, I do feel watching. I do feel watching from the energy that is upset by you basically just standing up for your shit, standing up for yourself and doing what you got to do for you. So let's look at this page of swords. Um, let's go for gilded. Play up the page of swords for Taurus regarding love, August 2nd to the 11th. Play about page of swords for Taurus regarding love, August 2nd to the 11th. I feel, okay, why do they bring out this family barbecue stuff again to me? It doesn't have to be barbecue specifically. It's just the energy they were giving me of having to be around family or like having to re-encounter family members you haven't seen in a long time, regardless of where you are, regardless of where you are in the world. Um, I feel like some shit is going down at like between family members, like face to face, face to face. They really want me to emphasize that face to face. Some of you, this might turn into physical altercation. I really hope it doesn't. That's pretty awful. But there's going to be a lot of arguing and a lot of spilling of the tea. And I do feel long-standing family secrets, okay? Ooh! Sorry. I just heard incest. That's not cool. That's not cool. Tell me about Page of Swords for Taurus regarding love. August 2nd to the 11th. Let's see here. Six of Wands in reverse, Jupiter, Leo energy, oh yeah. And then King of Wands, Leo energy could also be fire or air. Yeah, someone feels like someone feels like they're losing. Someone feels like they're losing the battle. I feel like it's this King of Wands energy, feels like they're losing the battle. I do feel a very dominating energy with this King of Wands because they're watching you, Taurus, or again, this could be vice versa. I don't want to confuse anybody, so I'm going to read it as if it's the Taurus breaking away. Uh, they're watching you break away and they don't like it because they feel like they lost. They feel like they lost the battle. 
again, I'm getting fatherly energy here or like patriarchal head of the family, head of the family, head of a business, could even be a boss watching you break away, feeling like they lost the fight in the work environment. If this is a work situation, someone definitely tried to overexert their power and take advantage of you. You know, maybe they weren't giving you raises, maybe they were making you work extra hours or even embarrassing you. I feel like a little bit of that tactic, like, I don't know if people think that shit works as a manager, like, or a boss, that shit doesn't work. Like, if you try to embarrass people, that's not going to motivate them to prove you wrong. That's not going to motivate anybody. But I feel like that's that kind of energy if this is a work environment for you. They lost. They lost. They played their cards wrong and they lost. Let's see here. Wow, Seven of Wands, more Leo energy. King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. And then we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, okay, Taurus, I'm liking this. Even though you're in reverse, I'm liking this, and I'll tell you why. So Taurus, even though this person tried to act like they're bigger, better, badder than you, more superior than you, you're of the same caliber. You're both kings. You're both kings, and with you being in reverse, I do for this energy of just trying to be the best you can be, in a situation and trying to not really enable conflicts this person wasn't going to allow that to happen this person wasn't going to allow that to happen and i think you've realized that that's why you're in reverse here but with seven of wands and ace of wands you are in protection mode of yourself standing up for yourself protecting yourself defending yourself defending what you're passionate for and defending what you want and what you're going to go for what you are going to go for yeah, I'm not, even, I'm not even upset or anything or bothered that you're in reverse. It's just because that you were maybe doing more than you should have been doing to try to make it work out with this person or make the situation work because you are so loyal. This is an energy of being loyal to a fault, okay? Being loyal to a fault to the wrong person. It's okay to be loyal to someone as long as it's to the person that deserves it. <coughs> Need a little water. Hmm. Mm. as long as it's to the person that deserves it right but you're standing up for yourself you're like nope i know what i want i know what i'm capable of i know my skill set i know what i deserve and i'm not gonna let you tell me one way or another end of story end of story let's see what else we got out here for the page of swords mm. whoa okay tell me more about the page of swords what the heck oh taurus Ooh, tell me about the page of swords for taurus you'll you'll see you'll see tell me about the page of swords for taurus regarding love let's see here we have a king of swords in reverse aquarian energy could also be gemini or libra with a queen of pentacles capricorn energy could also be earth or water magician mercurial energy so virgo gemini could also be aquarius scorpio for me as a reader divine masculine energy knight of swords gemini energy could also be air or fire you could be a cusper and then we have wow six of pentacles in reverse taurian energy <sighs> taurus i gotta be honest i gotta be honest here i feel like this is you approaching someone yeah this is you approaching someone taurus for some of you this situation someone was keeping you from approaching another person maybe you wanted to approach this person talk to this person about whatever it is you want to talk about but someone was trying to tell you it wasn't a good idea or talking you into thinking that it was a terrible idea to do that or it wasn't warranted or what have you and i think for some of you it was kind of eating away at you like no that doesn't feel right it definitely feels like something I should address, something I should do, something I should discuss, something I should talk about. Uh, you know, that's what I'm feeling. And this person kept just like messing with your head a little bit, messing with your head, keeping you from saying something. Wow. Okay, so let's get into this energy. Well, this King of Swords universe and this Queen of Pentacles, this Queen of Pentacles. Hold on, if I can pick up these cards. It's a perfect match to you. A perfect pair soulmate energy at the very least at the very least just someone who's very very compatible someone who gets you someone who gets you someone who understands you but that king of swords in reverse i'm getting this energy of like no communication no communication and there was a lot of misunderstandings that took place here but they do understand you so whatever this is i think that's why you've been you've been wanting to address it because you know you can clear it up you know you could explain what happened 
you know you could bring some understanding to the situation and also some clarity to this queen of whatever of whatever took place but this queen is very grounded whether they're male or female they're very very grounded they're focused on their work is what i'm getting they're also very um what's the word i'm looking for not quite Midas touch, but they know how to make things grow, nurture. Thank you. <laughs> they know how to nurture. I'm getting a lot of prosperity coming from them. A lot of like growing energy. Whatever it is they're doing right now, they're just making shit grow. Like so, like really, really beautiful stuff. I think you know that Taurus, which is also just wanting to prompt you, which is also urging you uh, even more to come and talk to them. You know they'd understand. You know, you know they'd understand. With that King of Swords in reverse energy, that's just an energy going on right now between the two of you. But I feel like you two aren't talking. And with this Magician, with the Knight of Swords and Six of Pentacles in reverse, I do feel um, you wanting to come in and communicate, to manifest with them, to create something with them. And what it is, is to restore balance. You want to manifest balance and understanding between the two of you. And you know you can. You know you can. For some of you, this is like family talking shit about this person or who or whatever this is like saying no why would you do that why would you do that why would you go there why would you talk to them again but it's what you really want it's what you really want and for a while maybe you were trying to appease these people and it just made you sick and the truth of it is it was to keep you trapped it was to keep you trapped you're heading into peace and harmony by doing this by approaching this person and creating a clarity and understanding between the two of you. For some, it's just like, just to explain yourself or explain a situation. Others, there's an apology attached to this. This also could be a job, like job situation where maybe, you know, you were working somewhere, maybe something happened in your family or other people you used to work with or people in the work environment were like, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. But in reality, they're giving you bad advice. And you realize that now because it's like, well, shit, if it's what I really want, it's what I really want, right? Overall energy for the Page of Swords, we have Six of Swords in reverse. With you not moving, with you not budging, this person, this person and or persons did not want you to have peace. And too bad because you're getting it. <laughs> too, too goddamn bad because you're getting it, right? And then we have this Five of Cups energy. This is the party that's party or parties. Because for some of you, it's like you're breaking away from a family or a work situation or even a group of friends. But either way, Taurus, this is the people or person you're leaving behind. And they're trying to think of ways to keep you from doing that. Okay? They're upset. They're upset because they lost. Literally, they're upset because they lost. All right? Definitely feels a little third party-ish, I gotta be honest. For some of you, this is definitely a third party situation where maybe you were with someone, something happened, something didn't work out right, and then in the midst of that, of maybe not talking to each other, you know, you kind of got into the grips of someone else, and that's really not working out for you, and you're like, damn, I made a mistake. It could definitely be a situation like that. Keep in mind, when there's three people involved, you could be any one of these three people. I'm using Steampunk to clarify the Five of Cups. So I'm at the Five of Cups for Taurus. Ooh. Regarding love, August 2nd to the 11th. Then we'll pull some advice. So I'm at the Five of Cups for Taurus. Regarding love. August 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about Five of Cups for Taurus. Yeah, you might have a lot of arguments on your way out. Sorry, they're bringing me up. Uh, they're drawing my attention back to this. I'm also noticing that beehive, bees are about success and abundance. They want to keep you from being successful and abundant and happy in your own right. And it's this energy of like, you can't do that without us or you can't do that without me. Very selfish energy. Tell me about five of cups. <laughs> oh, I love it. Ace of cups and the seven of cups. How do I get to my happiness, my, my love for myself? I love that. Tell me about five of cups. For Taurus regarding love August 2nd to the 11th sorry these cards are in the way there we go talking about five of cups for Taurus Let's see what we have here oh yeah oh oh my god wow six of cups in reverse scorpionic energy so also could be um, karmic energy, soulmate energy, past life energy. With the Queen of Wands, Aries energy could also be fire or water. Taurus, <laughs> if this is a third party situation and you're going from one person to the next, uh, 
they're they're both very compatible for you in some aspect okay another true pair situation here but taurus this is you bouncing and then being very upset about it being very upset about it and i'm getting a lot of negative energy off of it like not just being like oh damn taurus is out no it's like vindictive they want to keep you from leaving they want to keep you from leaving tell me about five of cups tell me about five of cups Let's see here wow three of wands aries energy high priestess in reverse piscean energy also gemini for me as a reader realizing that there's there's an energy of the ships coming in realizing that something is happening in your favor taurus this is your energy coming in here realizing you can have the abundance you want you just had to take it you just had to take it this person this king of wands energy and again could be multiple people representing this energy again feeling like they lost feeling like they failed because you're getting away you're getting your abundance you're getting your happiness your inner peace it's being revealed that a lot of good things are coming your way because of that and they don't like it they don't like it let's see what else we have with the five of cups they're telling me the ship it's not just ships it's like the ship the ship you've been waiting for for a long time the ship you thought you were never gonna have when you breaking away you're gonna get it this you had to break away in order to get it okay tell me about the five of cups for taurus tell me about the five of cups for taurus and for some of you this breaking away is literally leading you into a, that queen of pentacles to try to work some shit out and to gain some understanding and that's going to bring in the ship okay tell me about five of cups for taurus regarding love oh that's it overall energy <laughs> five of cups with the five of cups <laughs> again scorpionic energy sadness loss i'm getting a lot i'm getting also resentment here i'm getting resentment they're holding some resentment towards you taurus this king holding some resentment towards you because you're breaking away you're breaking away and it was very unpleasant anyway there's a very unpleasant history between the two of you and if you notice you both have sixes you both have sixes they feel like they failed this is a very ego egotist egotistical energy was well, a very emotional energy a very genuine energy you know that your history with this person is not good for some it goes back to childhood because it could be a parental figure again trying to keep you from being happy and they're just in their ego like damn i lost why does Taurus think they can get away, right? And you stood up for yourself. Stood up for yourself because, God damn it, what you want is what you want. And no one has the right to tell you you can't have it. And in doing so, for some of you, whatever this thing you wanted, you've been wanting it. But this king has been keeping you from getting it. And it's been making you sick. And for some of you, this, this thing you've been wanting is a person. Is making amends with a person, bridging the gap with you and this queen of... Uh, queen of pentacles because there has been no talking there's been no talking and there hasn't been any understanding between the two of you on what's happened it's almost like something came to an awkward end and there was just no explanation like it was just never revisited like there was no closure given and taurus you want to give that closure you want to provide that closure because you feel like it's just the right thing to do it's just the right thing to do and once you do that once you break away and head towards this queen of pentacles the ship Whatever the ship is for you, the ship is coming into you. This king also knows that. This king's a little intuitive. I'm getting a lot of intuitive energy off this king. This king knows that. That once you do this, you're gonna get the ship you've been wanting, which is why they don't want you to go and they wouldn't want you to want to keep you from it. Which is why you're gonna experience a lot of fighting, a lot of arguments, a lot of obstacles on your way out. But don't let it stop you. Don't let it stop you, Taurus. Alright, let's get some advice from the spirit animal deck. Ooh, okay. Any advice for my Torians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Torians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Torians regarding this spread? Yeah, I feel like some of you are realizing you got a lot of bad advice from this king, especially if they're like a boss or a parental figure or a family member. They gave you some really bad advice because they don't want you to be happy. Any advice for my Torians regarding this spread? 
Any advice for my Torians regarding this spread? Oh, 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 Taurus, I love it. Oh, I so freaking love this. Look at this. Parrot spirit, watch your words. 40, I love this card, cracks me up. 45, bring it down to a nine. And panther spirit, uh, reclaim your power. But the energy of 44, which is a master number. Taurus, you are reclaiming your power because you're breaking free. And you're telling people what's what. I wouldn't even say be careful of your words here. I mean, I know that's what the card says, but that's not the energy I'm getting. I'm actually getting speak your truth. Speak your truth. No matter how harsh it comes out, especially to this king, it's like you need to live your life for you. Your happiness is really important here. If you need to do something because you feel it's right, then you feel it's right. You don't have to explain that to somebody, right? And you don't have to answer to somebody for that either. If it's a job and it's your boss, I know it's a little bit of a different story. If it's something that they're doing that's unethical, you decide how you want to handle that. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, this is your life. And you know your life better than I do on a very personal level from individual to individual. This is just a general reading. But you are going to reclaim your power here by breaking free and being very confident and speaking your truth. And speaking your truth and telling this person how it is. You're not going to manipulate me. You're not going to scare me. You're not going to guilt trip me into doing whatever it is you think I need to be doing for you. Because there's a lot of manipulative energy. Because it's your life. It's your life. Any other advice for Taurus? Now, if you're leaving a job, don't burn bridges. You know, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, but speak your truth. Any other advice for Taurus? Let's see here. Ooh, we got the fox spirit. Think on your feet. It's actually very Gemini in energy for me. So again, you could be a cusper. 27 breaking down to a nine. Completions. This is about being very strategic. Very strategic and being very quick-witted here, okay? Um, I don't think you're going to have to make a lot of quick moves. I'm just getting a lot of strategy. Be smart about this. Sorry, this curl's making me crazy. Be smart about this, Taurus. Focus. Be smart on the exit. Be smart on the exit. Especially if this person controls any of your finances. Protect your finances. Just be smart about it, okay? See so what other cards we get out here, then we'll wrap it up. Any other advice for Taurus? Ooh. Hold on, we got two other cards here. Oh, I definitely feel that's a person. Any other advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Wow, got a lot of other cards coming out here, guys. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, Taurus. I like this Queen of Pentacles. Any other advice for Taurus? Okay, so like I said, you got a lot of more cards coming out here. Three cards came out representing this Queen of Pentacles, like straight out the gate, I can feel it. It's this Queen of Pentacles energy. We have Deer Spirit, 18, breaking down to a nine. Bring a gentle touch. I, why can't I hold these? Sandpiper Spirit, 51, breaking down to a six. Be playful, a lot of Six of Cups energy with that that I'm picking up on. And Antelope Spirit, life is speeding up with the, <laughs> with the energy of two. Guys, this Queen of Pentacles is quite yummy quite endearing i'm getting very endearing and very charming but in a quirky way they're a little quirky they're a little quirky they're a little childlike they could actually be a gemini because we're getting so much gemini energy um but that's what i'm getting they might even just like be clumsy or they might just like say it things that could be construed as like inappropriate but it just kind of is cute and endearing on them i don't know what that's about but either way bring a gentle touch this card i'm getting a lot of purity on this energy on this queen of pentacles they're very pure of heart is what i'm getting they're very genuine they're very genuine and there's something about their eyes you can just tell by looking in their eyes it's like they're not a bullshitter they're not a bullshitter they're just very true just very genuine and with sandpiper spirit be playful i'm getting that six of cups flirt i'm actually getting a lot of flirty energy and just a lot of laughter a lot of laughter Taurus, when you come into this Queen of Pentacles, it's just going to spark things off. Like, it's going to take off between the two of you. If this is, like, just business, you two are going to work so well together, and it's going to bring a lot of prosperity to both of you. If this is a romance or a friendship, it's just going to blossom very quickly. Very, very quickly, and you're going to have a lot of fun, a lot of laughing, a lot of joy. It just feels so warm. <laughs> it feels so warm. I really like that. And then we have these two energies that came out. Buffalo spirit with the energy of 10, which is cycle. So opening a cycle, closing a cycle, basically breaking away from this toxic shit, this king of wands energy. Uh, the abundant universe will provide and spider spirit, make your dreams real. 56 breaking down to an 11. 
This is you doing what you got to do for you. You mustered up the courage to face the injustice of the bullshit, right? Of the bullshit that this, I'm wanting to say oppressor. We'll just call them oppressor. For some, again, it's like multiple people in this energy oppressing you. Others, it's just one person. Um, you're done with this oppressor. You're done with, with, their, with their fear tactics. You're done with their guilt tripping. You're free. You're closing up the cycle. And in doing so, your ship is finally coming in. Whatever this ship is for you, and I gotta be honest, it feels like the ship is like this yummy, happy, very, uh, co what's conducive? Conducive, it's a conducive energy to you and your growth. This beautiful energy, that's your ship. That's your ship, that's your ticket, and you're finally getting it by ending this cycle. And you manifested it and you're making it happen and the universe is gifting you with that because you finally mustered up the courage to face this king of wands, to face these oppressive people, and to finally leave them in the dust where they belong okay overall energy oh this is so perfect dove spirit be peace be peace 21 breaking down to a three you will finally have peace of mind you finally won't have anxiety of like of this oppressor you know sometimes when we deal with oppressive people oppressive situations we develop anxiety when we don't even realize it this is something i realized many years many years ago about a certain uh relationship i had a family relationship where it was like, oh, I was having anxiety the whole time because I didn't know what was coming around the corner. I didn't know what they were gonna say. I didn't know what they were gonna do. You know, it's, it's that kind of energy. You will finally won't have that anymore. And you're just gonna be like, oh, I can relax. I can smile. I can do stuff without thinking someone's coming around the corner to criticize me or to tell me I can't do it. You know, that kind of energy. It's very peaceful, very calm. You deserve it and it's finally coming in for you because you've made healthy decisions here, okay? Taurus, this was a beautiful reading. Very happy to start off the weeklies with this one. I hope you guys have a really great week and a great night. Don't forget to check out Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Namaste, Taurus.